everybody and welcome back to Face of a Matter. It's your girl Jay here and in today's video we're going to be doing this makeup look right here. Um, this is just basically an easy minimal shadow blending type of situation. I really love eyeshadow looks like this because I think it's super easy to achieve and it's not a whole bunch going on. It's just three shadows I used and just a technique that I used towards like the outer corners just to help like your eyes look bigger. But yeah, I'm gonna zoom you guys in so y'all can really see the full effect of the look. But this is what we're looking for um, out of our look today. So I hope y'all are liking what y'all see so far. So if you are interested, let's go ahead and get started. Um, I went on and did my base, and y'all already know why I did my base, because it is the same base, same product every single time. So I don't wanna bore y'all sometimes. I know some of you guys like to see me do my base, but for the sake of editing time, we're just gonna do some eyeshadow. So I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyes using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This is in the color Tan Sand. And I'm just gonna put like one little dot on each eye because this stuff like little goes a long way with this concealer. So I don't wanna overdo it on top of my eyeball. All right, so the first shadow I'm gonna take is from the Morphe palette. This is the 35-0 matte palette. I'm gonna make sure I show you all the colors this time. My apologies. But I'm gonna be taking this color right here at the top. This is like a greenish, tannish color, it's like an olive greeny color, whatever you wanna call it. And what I'm gonna do is just focus this into the crease. I am also using a Sigma E40 tapered blending brush. This is my go-to blending brush. I'm just gonna focus this into the crease. So I'm gonna try and blend this out the best way I can. Y'all know how I feel about my crease. It's a little, it's a little challenging trying to blend this in, but it'll be fine. All right, I'm just gonna try and focus a little bit more of this, just trying to get some intensity going in the crease area. Because I know how I am with my eyeshadow looks, I know I'm gonna wanna put some down here. So I'm gonna go ahead and focus this on the lower lash line as well. I'm gonna take this dark brown shade right here and mix it in with a little bit of that one. Sort of lower outer crease, just to get some definition going in there. All right, because I feel like I need a little bit more dimension, I'm going to take a tiny bit of black. Any black shadow will do. And I'm just going to focus that kind of like on the outer corner of the eye, but I want to blur it out is what I'm trying to say. I want to blur it out out here on the corner. I'm not winging it out, but I'm trying just to do it to where it's not super exact. It's just kind of fanned out in the outer corner. From Makeup Geek, I'm gonna use Peach Smoothie as my lid shade. And as you can tell, it gets lighter as you continue to do it, so it will stick. And plus the fact I didn't set my base with any powder, so it has something to stick to. Okay, and since we did add black to the top, I'm gonna to do a little bit to the bottom, not too much. Matter of fact, I'm gonna take a little brush. This is one of my favorite brushes to work with on the um, lower lash line, but this is the Sigma E06 brush. I'm gonna take a little bit of the black shade and I'm gonna focus that right next to the lower lash line. This is just gonna help my lash line look a lot thicker. It's not gonna hurt to blend it out a little bit either. So I'm gonna take my brush and I'm gonna pinch it just so it can fit really nicely underneath the eye. And I'm gonna do a quick little blend. All right, so for this look, I definitely want to use white. So I'm just gonna use my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. This is 604 Milk. And again, taking that Sigma E06 brush, I'm going to apply that. I'm gonna go ahead and prep my lashes that we're gonna use for the day, and then I'm gonna add some mascara to the lower lash line as well. This is the Maybelline Blackest Black Great Lash Mascara. I've been loving this one, and I really like this one for the lower lash line because of how small the brush is at the bottom. So I'm gonna focus some of that on the lower lashes. I'm just gonna use the Natural Love palette from Too Faced and I'm gonna use this Moonbeam color right here. And I'm just going to kind of blow it out in the inner corner. I'm gonna wisp out the outer corner a little bit just to make it a little bit more fun. But that's completely optional, you don't have to do that. 
I'm gonna use my favorite lip pencil right now, which is the NYX Lip Pencil in Urban Cafe. All right, and then I'm gonna add my Southern Beauty Liquid Lipstick in Stay Humble, which I do have a coupon code for you guys down below if you're interested in purchasing. Now I'm gonna give myself a little bit of a spritz. Okay guys, well this completes this makeup tutorial. Hope you guys like, I really like how it came out. I think it's super, it's like glam, but it's still like really wearable type of glam. I love makeup looks like this. This is my niche. I love this stuff. As always, if you're new, I'm Jay. And if you're not new, I just thank you so much for supporting me with whatever I do here with my channel. I love you all to no end. Be safe out there. God bless you all. Always check down below for daily Bible verses. Um, sometimes I have some commentary down there, some transparency stuff down there as well. Make sure you guys follow, um, follow me on Instagram. I have a lot of inspirational stuff on there that I've been posting a lot lately. I've just been really opening up to my Instagram page and just allowing it to be like a place of transparency and just you know just really digging down to just being a millennial you know following Christ you know um, very open about my faith and um, I just thank God for the platform so yeah follow me on snapchat follow me on Instagram just keep up with my social media but anyway guys I have a lot a lot a lot of information coming up very very soon especially if you are in the Virginia area please go ahead and subscribe if you have not already um, we're still growing. I'm so grateful for each and every one of you. Um, make sure your notifications are on um, because I kind of look at it sometimes like I have 200 something thousand subscribers but I only get like 10,000 views. So it's like where are my other people at? Where y'all at? Y'all come on back. Where you at? So just make sure your notifications are on so you don't miss an upload. And as always guys, God willing, I will definitely see you all in my next video. Bye.